Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Damn, we've got another video today. It is news day. Uh, it's all going on. So from tomorrow, when Clan v Clan is active, and it is going to be active with personal rewards, this is kind of like, for some people, a really big deal. Some people, it's not such a big deal. For the top-end clans, they hate having personal rewards back-to-back. -back. I'm just like, you know what? I play Clan versus Clan. I'd like, I'd, I'd do my free stuff. And if we're in with a mix, if we're in the mix of trying to win stuff, then great. We win personal rewards. If we don't, then we don't. I'm not going to go all kind of like over the top into it. But some people do, and that's cool. Like It's, it's up to you guys. But yes, what's going on? A guaranteed champion event during Clan v Clan. Raid are cashing in this week. Uh, so what's, what's the event about? It's all about an awesome demon spawn champion that i do not have now my struggle right now is i also do not have really any shards like what the hell we have got nothing left after the weekend we've just had but uh, i guess that's the way they get us that is the way they will get us raid shadow legends is making cash this week so what's going on so kia flame tongue so from may 24th which is tomorrow um, we're planning to launch a guaranteed champion event. Summon champions using just sacred shards while the event is active, and you are guaranteed to get Sakia Flame Tongue on your 12th sacred shard. Remember, if you happen to have Sakia before the 12th, the event will just end, so you can't get like a dupe Sakia. So, is she worth 12? What's that going to cost us? Let's say, on average, they're 20 bucks a pop if you're buying shards i mean we're saying basically this is like a 250 bucks 250 pounds champion um if you're someone who saved your shards well done i think this champion is probably well worth pulling shards for if you've got them saved up if you don't then it's down to you whether you've got expendable cash or not so what's going on with our kit triple hitter a1 each hit 15 percent books up to 30 percent chance of increasing uh, the duration of burns on a target. That alone is a cool A1. A2 is an AoE ability. It goes to a three turn, books to 100% chance of placing weaken for two turns. Also 100% chance again if booked of placing decreased defense for two turns if the enemies are under a burn. This is a brilliant A2. Um, also, this is the cool part, instantly activates any burns on each target uh, and decreases the duration of those burns by a turn so if you've got all of the spider wave burning she pops all of the burns and does a hit of damage on hydra if you've got all of the heads burning she pops one turn of all of the burns and it just gives you that instant smack of damage it is a great great ability this is one of my favorite abilities in the game by the way i can't wait to get it <laughs> and then we've got the a3 places an hp burn on this champion for three turns, then attacks all enemies. Again, books up to 100% chance of placing a burn on all enemies for three turns. Three turns is long. Obviously, she's got this ability to just pop one, so um, it's going to be two turns after that. Grants an extra turn if she puts an HP burn everywhere. The only downside for this ability is that she does have affinity issues. So if, for whatever reason, She's up against one bad affinity or she gets a 3% chance to not land an ability, which is just like default percent chance, by the way, then she won't get her extra turn. But if she gets the extra turn away, you're basically doing a full AoE hit, burns out everywhere, followed by a full AoE decreased defense and weaken, followed by a pop of burns everywhere. And four turn on this one, three turn on this one. Damn, it is crazy town when she gets going with these things when it's all working she is literally on crazy street she creates the fastest spider 25 teams in the game i'll show you mine in a minute she improves on mine so yeah this is a crazy ability by the way she also hits pretty damn hard not like hardest hitter in the game but she hits pretty damn hard so good champion for that as well and then we've got a passive here increases her speed by three and damage in inflicted by three percent for each ally and enemy under a burn so if you're just talking about uh hydra heads four heads burning at the same time she's gaining 12 percent more damage if you're talking about spider 
she's gaining like 30% more damage uh, and a good chunk of speed as well. So this is actually pretty damn cool. If Cardiel, so she pairs up with Cardiel. If Cardiel is on the same team, all allies will heal by 3% of their max HP for, for HP burn debuffs instead of receiving damage. So if you're being burnt, uh, you, you heal instead of taking damage, which is pretty damn fun as well. I don't know how often I've I've never really seen this in Operation Big Time. Like there's not any where do you get burns? I guess Magma Dragon if you're yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know where this is totally appropriate, honestly. Um Increase accuracy in all battles as well is great if you're a newer account or whatever, but obviously that's not likely to be for someone who's pulling 12 sacreds. I'll just quickly show you Cardiel so you can kind of see the synergy. So Cardiel, um, let me just see if there's anything else before his passive. I don't think so. No. So his passive, his part of Sakia Flame Tongue here. Whenever an ally attacks, 15% chance to team up with them and join their attack. This champion will always attack with their default skill and uh, and sorry, always join Sakia's attacks if they're on the same team. So she, he'll come in and do this A1, which is a heal for your team, by the way, if Sakia is around, which is a really cool kind of um, double up. So yeah, I mean, I've already got a really efficient, awesome Spider 25 team. So it's not like she's going to completely change my game like she might others, but she does bring a faster team even than this one. Um, but I do think, you know, in terms of Hydra now, I think Hydra's more accessible as of this week when they do the changes. And I think Sakia, as well as like Tumisia that I've got here, they're two of the best champions to kind of get burns out there and do significant damage with burns. So my team here on Spider 25 is around, you know, what's this going to be like? A, I think it's about a 20 second odd team. So I've done it in 14 before. Sakia can do like 10 second runs. 18 seconds versus 10, you know, you might be like, who cares? But anyway, Sakia Flame Tongue, guaranteed legendary event. Are you getting involved? Do you have any shards left? What do you think about these kind of guaranteed legendary events? Comment down below. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.